It's about that time of year again. It is almost May 1st, 2018, and it is time for local elections. Well, wait a minute. That wasn't exactly the message I wanted to give right now. It is World Asthma Day. Wait, hold on. While there is an important message and I am asthmatic, that's not the message I meant to give either. Hey everybody, welcome to Brown's Tip. How are you all? So, it is May 1st, and it has now been two years since I have become a YouTuber. And let's cue that intro. So lots of things have changed in two years. I've gone from a Galaxy S5, not even this one, to the LG G6. I've changed my intro and logo numerous times, and I actually haven't shown you all this one, but I've actually hand-drawn this one. Another thing I didn't tell you all yet, but I am now officially a Microsoft Office Specialist in both Word and PowerPoint 2016. Now I also wear blue light filtering glasses um, so I don't get headaches when I use the computer. And actually this is my second pair just because I like them so much. I read a lot more in tech, both articles and books, and even just Books in general, and I'm actually rereading this series. Really good one, I'm on the third book. I've come quite the fan in bringing back old legacy brands. I've come a long way from when I first picked out a smartphone, and I expect to do a lot better. And thank you all for watching me for all of these um, years, like the two years, and for getting me to 118 subscribers of, as of right now. And also, even for the 54,752 views I have on my channel, but like, that's amazing. I never even thought I would get to like 30, and the fact that I was able to get to that many views and subscribers in this amount of time, I mean, that's insane for my thinking. Also, if you notice my Instagram, I actually take a lot more pictures now, so I plan on integrating all my new pictures into my channel within the next few months as well as other new and exciting technologies you just have to pay attention to the little details here and there that might change here and there but yeah, and as I've mentioned many times before and I'll say it again thank you all so much for getting me here and this is just the start of thanking you all because you all have really mean a lot to me. And like I said, I feel very privileged here to be able to help you all out via the YouTube platform on a normal basis and I cannot wait to continue doing that. Also, I'm going to end with a quick Q&A here. So let me go ahead and get to it. My first question is, what phone do you like the best? And this is referring to in total. Okay, this is a hard one. I think this is one of the most challenging questions I've ever been asked, actually. And as much as I've liked my Galaxy S5 and LG G6, I don't, want to, I don't really want to go with those. As much as I do love them. And I really liked the concept of the HP Elite X3. But I don't really know if that's truly my favorite. The Nokia 3310, in my opinion, is a pretty good smartphone. Well, I mean, feature phone, actually, from the year 2000. One of the most iconic ones yet. But I don't really think that would be my favorite either. And even if I were to pick a really good phone, it seems like none of them can truly be my favorite. Like, can I even pick a favorite? Although... Definitely my top five um, most favorite, I would have to say, would go to the Blackberry Priv, the Nokia 3310, the original one, the 
Motorola Dynatac from 1973, the Samsung Galaxy S7, and actually, yeah, I will put up here the HP Eli Dex Free. Okay, and for my second and I think my final question, it is my most important aspect when buying electronics. Okay, this is, I think is a really good question. And one that I think I actually should have talked about previously on my channel, but I didn't. I don't think. So anyone who knows me will know that I don't truly stress or even talk about what electronics you, you necessarily should buy. But I mostly say the ones you shouldn't. And not necessarily that I have an obligation against those, and I really don't want people to get those. And yes, these are more often than not Apple products, but it's not saying that I have an obligation against them. The reason I tell people not to is because I believe consumer choice should be the key aspect. It's what you believe you want in the device rather than what they believe. Just because I don't like the iPhone is one of the most popular phones out there doesn't mean that you need to go get iPhone. Now while that one may actually fit your needs, that's good, but I think you should figure that out before you go get the device. And same goes for even like um, the Galaxy S9, just because every um, that's one of the best phones out there doesn't mean that that's the right phone for everybody. In fact, last year the Galaxy S8 was the last um, was the best phone out there, and I chose the LG G6 because it best suited my needs. But it necessarily doesn't sit, um, suit everybody's needs. And that's something I really believe in, is getting devices based on what you want. So you should definitely look, out, look at all the different choices before picking a product. Yeah, but I'm going to end this here. Thank you all so much for my two years. And I hope to have many, many, many more years of doing YouTube and helping you all out no matter what platform it is from my YouTube channel to my podcasting channel to my Instagram page and even to my blog thank you all so much for supporting me and I'll catch you all in the next one have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all soon